safe to say you haven't gotten thrown at a ton. Uh, last week, maybe one time that you picked? Yeah, one time. Yeah. How, how do you stay focused when, when that happens? That they're not throwing it your way, but still. I just got to lock in and play every play like they're going to come in because you never know. You can't be sleeping. And, uh, I mean, is that a pride thing, too, to know that at the end of the game when you wake up, when you realize, you know what, they didn't throw it my way. Does that make you feel good? Yeah, it, it makes me feel really good. But, I mean, I wish I did get more targets. But, I mean, it's some respect. Yeah. Last week against uh, Rondell Moore, really, really big time receiver. You guys, as a group, mm -hmm. did a nice job on him. I mean, after the game, what did Coach say about the effort the DBs put forward? Um, we played a great game. We, we played our game plan and we just handled business that we had to. This week, this game against SMU, you guys know a lot about each other, obviously. You know a lot of guys on that team. They know a lot, a lot of you, a lot about your organization, you know, with the guys who've been here before. What, what is it like to play when you know so much about somebody? I mean, this is just another game. We're, just, we're gonna attack it like a normal game. and. I mean, it's a robbery. We've got a lot of history there, but it's just another game to it. Is there more talking in a game like this where guys know each other? Yeah, yeah there's more talking, but this every game. Yeah. How how was the flight back though? Oh, the flight back was good. I mean, I actually got to watch the film on the way back since we had Wi-Fi on the plane. So, so you watched the game that you yeah. just played it on the way back? Yeah. You didn't like celebrate? You didn't watch like a funny movie or anything no, like that? It's on to the Knicks. <laughs> we got Knicks. Let's, let's fix what we did this game. I was talking to them last night at their media availability, and they really feel like another year in their program with Sonny, that they've narrowed the gap with you all. From what you've seen from them, do you feel like they'll be tougher? I mean, they're a good team. They're playing great right now, and – we just got to accept the challenge and just attack it every next game. It's like a new game. Bouchelle, uh, he's made a big difference in their lineup, their oh, quarterback. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you see in his, his game, what he brings to that offense? I mean, he's on a new team now. We're a different team now, so we're just going to have to see on Saturday. But you've seen some highlights and stuff, Yeah, I've seen, right? a, I've seen a few highlights, but not as much. The week's just started. I ain't got to watch as much film yet. How about the freshman playing opposite of you? How is he growing up? How is that coming on? Oh, he's, he's, he's playing good for a freshman, you know. Just things he has to own, work on, get better at. But he's doing his job right now, doing what he has to do. What is Coach's message, if anything, you ever from you guys this week? I mean, did you not want to let you guys get kind of caught up in the hype? Or is there any hype? Or what's, what's his message? No, no hype. We're just going to scheme them, do what we do every week. And like I said, on to the Knicks. I mean, that's easy. I mean, that's kind of like what we expect you to say. Come on, this is SMU. You, I mean, it, it's a robbery. It's always heated. But we're just going to play our game and just do what we do. Do you feel like you get their best game when you play? Uh, yeah, every, every time. They're, they always play hard. We're going to play them hard. That's just how it is every year. Are you close to any of the guys on, on their team? I mean, do, do you just know them? Um, Not really. I knew one of the running backs that had went there because he was from um, Liberty Island. I can't think of his name. Yeah. What, what makes that team this year challenging? What, what, what do you, how do you see that? Um, I know they have a nice passing attack from what I've seen a little bit. You know, they have James Prochet over there. So he's a nice player. So, like I said, just going to have scheme him. They've got a couple of uh, running backs, both top 100 yards in their last game. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you, you hope they don't get to your, your layer in the defense, but what, what do you see in their, in their games, like um, TJ McDaniel and um, Xavier Jones? Really haven't got to check those guys out too much yet, but, I mean, I know our D-line's going to handle their jobs. What they gotta do. Why are rivalries, close rivalries like that, why are they important to the game and to the fans? What made you see it? I just feel it's like keeping the tradition going, keeping it alive, making it fun, and just, I, hey, when, a, when it's a rivalry, you know, everybody, everybody's gonna compete or every play. You ever held the skillet? Yeah, I've held the skillet once. Mm -hmm. once yeah. You don't get to take it home. No, nah, we don't get to take it home. I wish. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't make breakfast like, the next day in that yeah. bad boy or anything? Oh, no, nah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to scale up for 24 hours, what would you do with it? Ooh, what would I do? Um, like you said, I'd probably make a big breakfast. <laughs> I'd serve it to the team, though. <laughs> it's surprisingly heavy, right? Isn't it a little, yeah, it's, a little it's heavier than you think it is? Heavy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we go back to that interception real fast? Uh, it, it looked as if you anticipated that coming. Is, is that a play that y'all had practiced for? What kind of keyed you on that? Because um, you, you slacked off your guy and, and retreated pretty quick. Yeah, we actually had a few trick plays at practice, maybe like three. And I kind of got back there and saved somebody a few times. And then in the game, I just finally picked it. I guess it, just, I guess it was meant to happen. Yeah. Well, uh, so you could tell it was coming? It, it was, 
Yeah, yeah, I seen him pitch it back, and I just went and looked for, looked for anybody who um, got, got away from him. But it looked like you reacted so fast. So you're already heading your way back before the pitch happened, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just, hey, get back. Somebody's going to come over and find him. What else makes a difference in a game like this with two schools as close as Is it fans? Is it who gets the home feel? Or what, what do you think makes a little bit of a difference with anything? Well, to me, it's just whoever comes out and just executes what they had going, what they practiced the whole week.